Hi, how are you all? I forgot this. This wonderful place has one strict rule. You do not walk out of your room without one on. Once you step outside this building, you can do whatever you want, but no matter what, you're in here, it's on. Anyway, so how are you all on this beautiful Saturday? I survived yesterday's hundred and actually it only got to about 95. It wasn't too unbearable. Um, so let's see. This has been the strangest trip I think I've ever taken anywhere. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we all remember the, the flight in on Thursday. Well, seems to be that it just kind of went the same way <laughs> yesterday. I... Uh, was still trying to recharge my batteries. I was really, really tired from this, the flight, but I also didn't want to just sit. So I decided to take a relaxing drive up Route 29, which is the main drag for all of the, the vineyards on both sides. Um, and besides, I wanted to try to drive something mother, more than 35 miles an hour. I wanted to get up to about 60 if I could, and yay, it worked. Um, I don't understand why people take the wine train because the wine train literally runs parallel and only a few feet from 29. So everything you're seeing on the wine train, you see on 29. And the wine train doesn't stop at any of these places. They may pause so you can see the sign that says Farniente or, or whatever, but it doesn't stop. They just give you a glass of wine. You get to sip sitting in your car for free you get to see the same thing they do so anyway i decided to drive up to my favorite vineyard of all time forever uh free mark abbey i got all the way up there i walked in and i said i said hello and i'm yelling hello and there's nobody and I walked around the corner and there was this big room with um, a big long dining room table. I mean, it had to sit 50 people and every, there was plates, everything was set. There were four people at the very, very end and one girl and she was serving them wine. And she came back to me, I guess she had to go get more wine. And I said, I'd like to make a reservation for a wine tasting. And she said, oh, I'm sorry, we're not doing wine tastings. I said, even with reservations, no. She said, we're short staffed, I'm it. Oh. Okay, well, thank you anyway. So I left, went next door to Trinchero, which is another one of my favorite wineries. <laughs> I walk in, hello, hello. Oh, we're not doing res we're not doing any kind of wine tastings. We are short staffed. <laughs> okay. So I turn around and I say, well, I gotta go to Mondavi's Vineyard Winery because I have to get a sheep. Thank you, Renata. I have to get a sheep. And I know I can get a good glass of wine there. Drive down to <laughs> and son of a bitch. There is a big sign in front of this place saying closed, no stock. So I'm three for three. So I said, screw it. Came down uh, to Amola. Uh, street or avenue or road, whatever it is. What, there's a shopping center there, I know. And there's a pizza place. So I stopped in for lunch and I had some really, really good um, chicken wings. Yeah, very, very good. Went back to my room. Sat outside on my chaise. Got a little bit of sun. And then said, okay, it's time for the bubble bath. And they gave you bath salts that were lavender scented. I filled that puppy up. Then the struggle was to get in. Well, I got into the tub. It was so deep that just sitting there, my legs were floating. I mean, that's how literally deep that was. My legs just floated. I told you it was like a wading pool. Um, so now I'm reading my book and I'm having, enjoying my drink. And I'm like, okay, how do I get out of here now? I have no idea. Well, that took a little bit of maneuvering, but I did get out of the tub eventually. Pretty much unscathed and then I went and waited and went to the happy hour or whatever wine tasting at five actually oh, before I even did that I decided to take my book and lay on that sofa I just stretched there was nobody around it was early nobody was around everybody's out running around I just stretched out like it was my own home sofa uh, it was wonderful then I came in got changed um, 
got picked up by my Uber guy for dinner at Celadon, which was good, good, good stuff. Um, came home, and crawled into bed, and read and watched television. So now, what today brings, I have no idea. Um, I want to try to get out of here. Oh, excuse me, and get to um, Farniente Winery. I don't care. I don't have to wine taste. I just want to get some pictures of this place. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, pr pr probably one of the prettiest places I've ever seen. And then this afternoon at 2 o'clock, I have a wine tasting that I'm actually scheduled for at a Castilla, Castilla, uh, blah, 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 blah. and it was built, I don't know how long ago, but it's like a big, big medieval castle. And the pictures are wonderful, so that I am doing, and I'm taking the tour, even if it's only me walking around. Then I come home, um, get changed again, and I go to, I'll drive this time, I'll go out to Mustard's Grill for my last meal here in Napa. So that's my day. I've rambled for six minutes and 20 seconds. I hope you all have a great Saturday. Um, I was going to say Dave, but Dave's not a friend on. I was going to say, Dave, please make sure you're watering my tomato plants, but he's not a friend on my, my Facebook. So anyway, you all be good, and I will catch up with you tomorrow before I leave. Ciao.